Yaskin Corlean, I, I want to just repeat my, the words I made, said yesterday in relation to our condemnation of the, the vicious and abhorrent attack on Kevin Lunny, who was just doing his job uh, and part of creating employment for many people in, in the border community. Uh, and I would echo the words of uh, the Thonishta here today uh, that there is no justification for anybody to shield or to cover those who were behind uh, the, this attack and indeed many other attacks in relation to individuals uh, and property uh, in relation to, 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 to the Quinn Holdings. Uh, and I would encourage those with any information, uh, regardless how uh, insignificant they may think it is, to bring that information to the relevant authorities. This needs to be stamped out and stamped out quickly. Uh, Tanish, this morning I want to focus on the fact that thousands of our school secretaries across the country will go on strike uh, tomorrow uh, and will begin an indefinite work to rule action uh, until their modest demands are met. And this follows a breakdown of talks between their union, Forza, and the Department of Education yesterday. The staff, uh, as I'm sure you will agree, are invaluable members of our school communities. Often they go beyond uh, uh, their job requirements in meeting the needs of, of parents and uh, pupils. They work on the front line and they're the first port of call for parents and students. And without them, our schools simply wouldn't function. Our teachers will agree that these staff are underpaid and undervalued by the department. And I want to put on record uh, that school secretaries have, in their dispute and in their claim, the full support of myself and Sinn Féin in that regard. At the heart of this matter, Thonishti, is a dispute that centres on the fact that the majority of school secretaries, nearly more than 3,000 of them, receive as little as €13,000 per year. And they do that with irregular contracts and short-term contracts and no pay during summer holidays or school breaks or at Christmas time. And these secretaries receive low pay with little security. That is beyond any doubt. This is only compounded by the inequality that exists within this system because we have on one hand a few hundred school secretaries who are paid directly by the Department of Education with starting salaries of €24,000, yet 90% of them are not and, as I said, receive as little as €13,000 per year. The importance of these staff will become clear tomorrow when they begin their uh, strike at the start of the school day. And that is because our schools can't function without them. They're integral to our education system and our education system needs them. And, and to that end, Tanishtid, they are public servants who provide a public services to our children and to their parents, and that cannot be disputed. And that is why I believe, and Sinn Féin believes, that their claim is justified to be employed as public servants with the same contractual security as their colleagues. Now, the Department of Education have failed to seriously engage with staff and union reps in relation to resolving this dispute. The Minister was made aware as far back as May of this year of the pay claim, the job insecurity, the two-tier pay structure, and has dragged his heels in reaching an agreement. And the Minister, I'm sure, will claim that the specific responsibility for the employment and pay and working conditions of these staff rests with the schools through the capitation grants that they receive and not his department. But we all know in this House, or at least any of us who have children who are at school going age, know that schools and the capitation grants that they receive, which is supposed to cover the issues of like, the likes of heighten and lighten and endurance and teaching materials, simply doesn't cut it. So what we need is we need real action. We need these employees to be valued. And can I ask you, what will this government do to avert further action and recognise the work and value of our school secretaries? First of all, Deputy, as, uh, as someone who drops kids to school when I can, uh, I am more than aware of the value of, of school secretaries, as I'm sure you are and many others are in this House too. Um, industrial action by school secretaries uh, who are members of the Forza Trade Union will commence tomorrow. Uh, Forza, uh, Forza's current pay claim uh, is a follow-on claim from the current pay agreement, which runs until the end of this year. The Department's position is that the Union's claim will be fully considered once the current costs have been determined. The Department is conducting a survey of schools, uh, which closes actually tomorrow as well, as it happens in terms of that survey. Uh, accordingly, any industrial action is surely premature and unwarranted, not least because the period of the current agreement has not even expired yet. Uh, the current pay agreement committed both parties to engaging in the course of, two, uh, of 2019 
to consider the nature of an agreement uh, to apply from the 1st of January next year. The, uh, the department is not the employer of the staff concerned and does not hold current information on their pay rates and working hours. In addition, uh, the previous survey uh, that was conducted 10 years ago, um, uh, 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 conducted 10 years ago and the current pay agreement has been implemented uh, in the meantime. The results uh, illustrate that this matter presents very significant issues for the Exchequer uh, with a potential cost to the state of between 188 million and 347 million per year in respect to funding to enable the employer pension contribution in state funded community and voluntary organisations. Uh, on foot of a chairman's note to the Lansdowne Road Agreement, uh, the department engaged uh, in an arbitration process with the union in 2015. This resulted in a cumulative pay increase of 10% between 2016 and 2019 for staff uh, and a minimum hourly uh, pay rate of, of 13 euros. This arbitration agreement lasts again until the end of this year. The arbitration agreement was designed to be of greatest benefit uh, to lower paid staff. For example, a secretary or caretaker uh, who was paid the then minimum wage of €8.65 per hour in 2015 prior to the arbitration is now paid €13 Euros per hour, uh, which is a 50% increase on that individual's hourly pay rate. Having said all that, Deputy, um, these issues get resolved by talking. Um, that's my experience, uh, and I would encourage uh, the, the Forza Trade Union to engage with the department uh, and to try and find a way forward here that, that avoids industrial action uh, including tomorrow's, uh, and the disruption that that will cause for both children and parents, and indeed staff and schools. I agree with you on one point that these issues do get resolved in relation to talking, but it's very clear that there is a frustration among the unions who will argue that the cost, the departmental cost, was actually submitted to the Department of Education's committee um, back in May of this year and that the talks that took place this week were not about the substance of the claim but again just going back around the houses in relation to the costs. And you can see that frustration among the, sh the secretaries themselves where 94 per cent of them uh, voted for strike action and industrial action in this regard. Now, Minister, you mentioned that you value the work of these school secretaries and I do not question your bona fides in relation to this here. But the reality is I don't know which school secretary you drop your kids to school to. Because some of them, 10% of them, start on a €24,000 salary and can go up to 40. But the other school secretaries, the ones I drop my kids to school to, could be as earning as little as €13,000 per year, with no uh, payment at all during Christmas or Halloween or other, other uh, conditions that are not there for other public service employees. And that is the core of this issue. It is the inequality and it is how we are asking in this day and age for school secretaries who do so much, who go beyond the call of duty in relation to keeping the schools together and all of the different and additional burden that we put on school secretaries, how can we ask them if we truly value them to continue to do that job while their colleagues in another school are earning nearly twice, if not sometimes three times as much as them, and at the same time that they are paid so little. That is at the core of that. So do you believe that this issue in terms of pay needs to be dealt with? And do you as Tanish to believe that these should be recognised for the public service that they do as public servants? Deputy, what I agree with you on is that, is that this will be resolved by discussion and consideration. And that is actually um, part of the plan. There was, there was due to be and is uh, an ongoing consultation uh, this year uh, with a view to putting a, a new arrangements in place from the start of next year. Uh, part of that, uh, and this is my understanding of it, uh, not being directly involved, but my understanding is that a school survey is needed as part of that discussion to make sure everybody understands the numbers and the facts, uh, particularly in the department. Uh, that survey only ends tomorrow. Um, so surely uh, it is premature for people to be uh, triggering industrial action uh, before, uh, before that survey is even complete. Uh, and, and so I, I would ask people uh, to show some restraint here, uh, to give uh, discussion uh, 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 a, um, a chance uh, to actually produce a result that could be acceptable to both sides, uh, as opposed to resorting to industrial action uh, tomorrow, uh, which will cause significant disruption in schools. You're right. 
School secretaries are a hugely important part of school infrastructure and, and staffing and so on, and to the functioning safely of schools and looking after children. Um, uh, and so, uh, given the nature of what's happening and what's underway, uh, I would appeal uh, to FORSA uh, to look again at, at industrial <coughs> action uh, tomorrow uh, and to, co uh, to continue consultations with the department. And